welcome back to the channel. I feel like I have lipstick in my teeth. Today's video uh, is on, ironically not on purpose, kind of a follow up to yesterday's video uh, where I talked about Amazon um, like Halloween things that you need. Uh, and today is actually an Amazon Halloween party supplies haul. I have got food, party supplies of all different kinds. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing I got is absolutely ridiculous and I am fully aware of that, y'all. I'll try and put a picture up if I can. Um, I got a giant blow up Grim Reaper cooler. <laughs> I saw this and I thought it was freaking hilarious. It's literally the Grim Reaper. He's got a knife and just, I think, yeah, like a scary hand. And it basically blows up and it's kind of like a kiddie pool in a sense where it just blows up and it's like the size of a small pool, but you put ice in it for all of your Halloween drinks. So, yeah, I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see it actually blown up because I feel like this is a really hard hard way to show you guys, but I saw this and I think it was like 20 bucks and honestly, I'd already spent so much money and I didn't really have a good way to display our soft drinks and like just like beer and stuff like that. So I grabbed that because I figured it'd be super easy to put a frick ton of ice in it and you're good to go. Next up, we want to do some uh, water pong on the back deck during the party. And I figured it would be fun to have some Halloween themed pong balls. So these are jack-o'-lantern pong balls, just a set of six, which is perfect in case a couple get lost, you've got a few extras. I just thought it was fun and silly, so I picked them up to have for the party and super cheap and easy way to add like a fun little detail. Next up, I got a three pack of orange spider webby tablecloths. These are like just like regular like disposable ones. And I thought these would be good to have. Obviously like you can reuse these, but you don't like have to because they're not super expensive. I probably will if they don't get like super ridiculously dirty, but I wanted one to cover the um, the table that we're going to use for Pong just because it's like not Halloween-y at all. It's like an outdoor patio table. And so I thought it would be nice to kind of Halloweenify it a little bit and put a tablecloth on it. So that's what this is for. I also, they haven't arrived yet, but I also got a pack of purple tablecloths because I have a really cool see-through spiderweb tablecloth but the table that we're gonna put the bar on is just like a white fold out table. And so I thought it might be a little bit nicer to lay down the purple and the spider web over it. Um, so it looks a little bit more spooky. And I also think the layered look just looks kind of like nice for just like a Halloween-y look in general, if that makes sense. So I got that. The next thing I got, I probably ordered too many of these because um, we're probably only gonna have 20 to maybe 30 maximum, maybe 40 people at the Halloween party. Uh, we wanted to do house jello shots because the bar this year is going to be all Harry Potter themed based off of like potions and stuff. And we thought it would be fun to do like red, yellow, purple, and green jello shots for everyone's Hogwarts houses. So I just got this big pack. I don't know why in my brain I didn't, when I ordered it, I distinctly remember being like 200 should be enough. Now that I'm thinking about it, that's like 20 jello shots a person and that's a little bit extra. So I'll have some for next year, that is for sure. I got these adorable chalkboard coffin like label stands. Oh my gosh, please tell me this fits in here. Freaking barely, oh my gosh. So don't recommend these necessarily because they literally don't fit, which is very annoying. Um, but they're like little coffin uh, food label stands. So like you're supposed to be able to fit the coffin in here and then it's a chalkboard so you can draw on it and like label your food or drinks or whatever. I figured this would be like a fun spooky way to label all the drinks on the Harry Potter potion bar. I'm like trying to get this on to see if I can like finagle it, but it's like very difficult. Ugh. 
I'm like literally pushing with all my might and I can like barely get it to like slide on there. Might have to get Brendan to do this. Oh yeah, that's gonna have to be a Brendan job. Anyways, but I figured that would be a super cute way to just display uh, and let people know kind of like what the different cocktails are and also what's in them. Uh, and then if there are some leftovers, which there will be because this is a 12 piece set, um, then I can also label some of the food if I need to. And to go with that, I also got a pack of chalkboard pens. I got just like a multi-pack from um, Amazon again because I figured that would be easiest and then we can kind of color coordinate based off of the different potions. And I have some talented artistry, artisty friends so they can make them look really cool for me, which will be great. Next up, I'm very excited about these next two items. So, um, two of the potions we're going to have at the bar are Wolfsbane and um, the Love Potion. And so, I got these tiny glass jars to put the Wolfsbane in, which they're, this is like the size of a shot. It's about two ounces. Um, and the Wolfbane is like, it's a cocktail. It's not really a shot, but I figured this would be a really cute way to display them. And this is a pack of 20. So like everyone could have at least one, maybe a couple if they choose. And I just, th I thought that would be a really cool way to show that. Um, and obviously we can put on like a little coffin name thing, you know, take a shot of Wolfsbane. Uh, so I thought it'd be cute. Uh, and then for the love potion, I bet you can guess maybe what we got. Same situation, <laughs> but they're heart shaped and they're a lot bigger so you can actually drink your entire cocktail out of it. So obviously I'll need to get these washed up before we use them. But I just, again, like I said, I thought this would be so freaking cute. And Zoe and I really wanted to display at least one of the potions in um, like a potion bottle style. So we ended up doing the two, um, which I am happy with because I think that would just be adorable, like a little basket of all the potions um, or a cauldron of them or whatever. Cause like the polyjuice potion is going to be in a cauldron. Um, the uh, drink of despair is going to be in like a big like iron bowl that I have that has like bats I'm looking at it over here that has like bats like holding it up it's really cool and then our non-alcoholic drink which is going to be pumpkin juice we are going to actually put inside of a pumpkin and then we got this awesome contraption that is like it lets you tap um, your fruit of choice or vegetable of choice. Um, I guess, is pumpkin a fruit because its seeds are on the inside? Or because it has seeds in general? Interesting, okay, so the fruit. So basically you use this tool and you core it, stick this in there and then you screw on the spout and you literally have a drink dispenser out of whatever fruit you chose. Uh, this one had it advertised for like watermelon or pumpkins. So obviously we're going to be using it for pumpkins, um, which is going to be so freaking cool. Sorry if there's noise in the background, my washer is running and right now it's draining. So that's really fun. I'm drinking a hot chalky in my Jack Skellington mug. I love it. Mm, okay. Moving on to food, I wanted to do a really fun dessert slash candy charcuterie board situation. So I started to pick up some things. I'm trying to keep it in like a very Halloween-y color palette. So orange, purple, black, white, maybe some green. Well, definitely some green based off what I got. Um, and so yeah, this is what I got. So first off, I picked up the Sour Punch Twists and this is the Halloween version. And what's super cool is that these are all Halloween colors. So it comes with an orange option, a purple option, and a green option. 
which is super fun. Um, so we'll display those. I'll probably honestly unwrap them to display them because I think that will look a little bit better. Man, that washer is really loud. I'm so sorry. Then I got the white Kit Kats because again, I didn't really want brown um, because I just thought that it wouldn't match as well. And then I saw they had white Kit Kats and it's cute because they're it's like breaking bones, adorable. Um, so I'm very happy about these. Another thing that will be going on the dessert charcuterie. Then I picked up these Tate's pumpkin spice cookies. I mainly picked them up because I thought they would look pretty, like the orange in there. We'll definitely throw in some cupcakes and some cookies, but like those are more freshly baked, so I wanna pick up those like the day before the party um, so that they're fresh and not stale and everything. This is probably the least Halloween-y thing that I got, but I mainly got it because we always, like every single time my friend group goes on like a trip or something, we always have to have Chips Ahoy Chewies and they always get eaten so freaking fast. So for my friends, I decided we definitely need some Chips Ahoy Chewies. Even if they don't totally match the color scheme, it doesn't matter because they're gonna get eaten and people are going to love them. Next up, I got some of the orange slices candy and I thought these would be good just because obviously they're orange and it's just another variety of candy. And I really was just keeping my eye out for things that would fit in that um, color palette that I mentioned. And I saw those and they were orange, so I grabbed them. Next up, I grabbed, that's backwards. I grabbed a couple of boxes of Reese's Pieces because obviously these are like orange and yellow and brown. So I figured these would look cute in like a little bowl or like scattered within the charcuterie. Um, well, the dessertery, I guess. <laughs> uh, just to like, again, continue matching the vibe and I thought they would match, so I got those. I know some people hate candy corn, but on a Halloween themed charcuterie board for dessert, you have to have candy corn. You just do. I'm sorry, it's a law. So I grabbed some candy corn. And I also grabbed some of the mallow pumpkins. Isn't that, yeah, no, mellow cream pumpkins. Again, I feel like for everyone, these are like an absolute love or an absolute hate and there's like such a controversy about it. But I feel like they're a staple fall candy and so they have to be on the board. They just do. I don't make the rules. Next up, I like, I feel like everyone loves the Reese's, like Christmas trees and Reese's pumpkins. And I saw Reese's bats this year and I saw that they had a white version, so I grabbed two packs because I was like, oh my gosh, these will fit into my Halloween board. The white is so perfect. My cat is... Max! Dude is acting like he got possessed. Are you good? Come here. Wouldn't be a video without one of these freaking cats or my boyfriend interrupting me, that's for sure. Anyways, so I got two packs of the Reese's pumpkin in the white version, and again, I just figured they would match. Um, chill, dude. What are you doing? Then I got the Mother's Frosted Cookies Eerie Critters pack. <laughs> They're basically orange and white frosted like little just cookies. And again, I knew they would match the color theme, so I grabbed them. I basically just like scoured the grocery store and gra gra grabbed anything that I thought would match. Um, and that's what I did. And last but certainly not least, I picked up two bags of the Oreo Cookie Pop Halloween Edition. It's orange and white and it has Oreo cookie crumbles on it. And I just, again, I thought it would match. I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over again and I feel like you guys get the point. It matches, so I bought them. Maximus. Dude, what are you doing? Are you okay? Cause you legit are scaring me. You sound like you're possessed by a demon. And that is the party supplies haul. Oh wait, no it's not. That's not everything. Okay, a couple more things. Um, I'm trying to think of what is, hasn't come from Amazon yet cause I'll put it up here so you guys can see. 
I got a skull drink dispenser and that is going to be our, maybe that was gonna be for drink of despair. Now I feel like maybe I have too many. Polyjuice potion in the cauldron, pumpkin juice in the pumpkin, love potion in the heart bottles, wolfsbane in the square bottles, drink of despair in the, oh no, liquid luck is what's going to go in the square bottles. Uh, Wolfsbane is going to go in the skull and then Drink of Despair is going to go in like the big iron bowl. That's what it was. Cause we wanted people to be able to drink small amounts of the liquid luck. That's what it is. Okay. I was like, oh my gosh, should I buy one too many drink dispensing options? But no, we're all good. So I got that and I already mentioned the purple tablecloths and I think that's it. Yeah, so that's everything that I got from Amazon for a Halloween party supplies haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like, hit that subscribe button down below to come hang out with me every single day until Halloween. Guys, we only have like 12 more days of Halloween content. Is anyone else like dreading it? Because it feels like it has passed so quickly, even though I've been doing Halloween preparation and stuff since August. And I'm sad, we only have 12, 12 days left. Um, but I will say I'm more excited for Christmas content this year because my mom gave me a ton of my late Nana's Christmas decor and I am so excited to go through all and see all the treasures that my Nana has collected over the years and reuse them in my home now. Um, so if you like Christmas content, I'll have that. But it's still spooky season, so let me not get ahead of myself. Right now we're enjoying spooky season and we're gonna continue enjoying spooky season. And if you're ready for Halloween party prep, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be doing a ton of that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.